hi guys welcome to fix it free welcome to this new video guys so in this video I decided to do a video about how to create and generate a code bar for the product in uh, Adobe Photoshop and uh, this video will be a simple video I will try to to do a newbie video for uh, people that have no knowledge about Photoshop and how to work with it so uh, let's uh, start the video and in order to create uh, the, the, the code bar for your video and print it on sticker or on a normal paper all you need to do guys is we are gonna be using Photoshop and we will create a new uh, page a new blank page on photoshop and here let's for example set the widget in eight inch and the high it also uh, for eight for example inch and let's click on ok so uh, In order to generate this uh, code bar guys what we will do is we will uh, download a font for this so let's search for font code bar and uh, the font will convert the, the text and the numbers into a code bar so normally uh, there is some fonts on the website the font is a very known website but the problem sometimes those fonts uh, is not working with the machine the reader that reads those barcodes so what I prefer to do is go over this website barcode ENC and this is tested by me and all machine can read this code generated by this font so all you need to do is uh, here is the website guys and they will uh, pass the link on the description so after entering to the website as you can see guys you you will uh, find here a button to download the font here so you need simply to click on this button here and here you will have the download as a zip file so I already have this zip file on my PC so I will just go over the zip file so in order to install the font what you need to do is you need to click here on the font and here is the font and just click install so I guess this is the font for the numbers and here I guess is the font for the letters so uh, after installing those font by clicking on install I already have this uh, font on my machine so what you need to do so if you already have uh, Photoshop open it on your uh, computer you need to close the Photoshop and reopen it again so here uh, in order to create the font the code bar all you need to do is click on T to generate a text and here you can read the code of your product by machine or if you don't have the machine it's all right you just need to type your code for example code for let's type 12 number here as you can see and by selecting the font here by selecting the font 3 3 of 9 extended and by selecting the font uh, the code bar is generated 
So let's change this to another form just for you to see how this is working, guys. So guys, just stay with me on the video because I will show you how you can print a list with the price and everything and name of product on this video. And by selecting simply the font, the code is converted uh, to a code bar. So and how uh, this is how it's uh, done. And now let's uh, create a, a name of product and price price for this product. So let's just duplicate this by pressing Alt and select the layer press alt and drag this let's uh, select another font for example let's just select Oriel and here uh, let's name of product for example let's resize this like this and let's duplicate this first let's place this here let's duplicate this and here let's assume that we write the price here 10 10 15 dollar for example so let's assume that this is the price of the product so here is the code bar and in order guys to generate a list for uh, a list of products for example for uh, a lot of product and print this all you need to do guys is uh, let's first uh, assemble this in a group in a folder in order to do this select those layer by pressing on control and then press on control and G here so now all those elements are on a group on, on a folder and by selecting this folder you can drag this as you wish and you can also resize this so let's hide this and let's uh, uh, add some good line quid lines here for example in here and in every two inches as you can see so now as you can see the whole document is uh, separated as you can see by labels and let's pass this and resize it so in order to resize this to fit with this space here all you need to do is click on Control, alt and d at the same time and in in order to uh, to not lose resolution when I will resize this just press on shift guys and here I can resize this without losing the resolution if I don't do this what we you will uh, lose the resolution and the form of the object when you will try to resize it so in order to avoid that just press on uh, shift after uh, during the resize so here I will place this carefully using uh, the arrow on my keyboard as you can see and that's good for me so let's confirm this so in order to duplicate this all you need to do is plus this cursor here 
uh, in your object and click on alt and then drag this as you can see here like this and that's it guys and in order also to uh, do the same thing just select those two folders and the same thing click on alt and drag this here below guys and I think it's easy to do or you can just sorry uh, you can just use the arrow in your keyboard to do this so now let's uh, edit those code var as you wish guys uh, to edit the code var all you need to do is navigate inside the folder and here you can change the price for example let's uh, make it 11 you can change the name of the product for example uh, game you can change the code of your product using the machine or just by typing this as you can see so uh, that's it guys I hope you understand how you can do this uh, using the Photoshop you can also do this using Excel using Word and a lot of platform just by replacing the code of the product by the font here uh, changing the font of the code of the product and uh, that's it guys thank you for watching this video don't forget to give me a like if you like this uh, method guys and also don't forget to subscribe to fix it free guys if you like those kind of video thank you guys for watching